Hey guys, welcome back to Peace of Energy. Today we have Enchanted Crystal subscription box. So we're going to do the unboxing today. All right, let's check it out. <laughs> Nicely packaged. Alright. Even though the Tucson Gem Show was postponed till April, we worked privately with a few of the local vendors we usually see every year, and wow, we were able to obtain more treasure variety than we could have imagined. So that's what's in this box. Alright. So first up, we have the grid. We always get a grid with this with this subscription box. Yeah, that's a nice one. It looks like sunflowers or something. Daisies. Yeah, it looks like sunshines. Yeah, very nice. Bright and cheerful. Oh, how many packages do we have? Six, seven. Seven, all right. Okay, you go first. All right, first I have Durango calcite. Lots of bubble wrap. Wow, must be special in there. Huh. Wow, that uh, looks like clear quartz, almost uh, like points. I don't think I ever saw Durango calcite. Yeah, I wouldn't think that something that clear would be calcite. I would think it's clear quartz. Yeah, that's interesting. It's nice. nice. It's like white. Yep, it looks like a diamond. All right, next we have Apache Tear. <laughs> Most people have heard of Apache Tears. Sometimes they're very small. Wow, look at the size of this one, Katie. Oh, wow, that one's big. Notice how smooth it feels, oh, even yeah. though it's a rough cut. There's quite a few stories and legends about Apache Tears. I think it's worth looking up and reading about it because there's a lot of different stories from uh, Native American backgrounds and how this stone got started for using it to uh, help people have strength during tough times. What do you got there? Alright, so this one is Shaman Stone. <laughs> I didn't expect this. Wow, that looks like one we need to learn about. Yeah. Uh, it looks like it's tumbled in a river or something, right? This looks like it would be like a, a bullet in like an old musket or something. Yeah, it's really, <laughs> it's almost polished but rough at the same time. We have a lot to learn about that. Maybe we can do a future video on that one. Interesting. All right, right here I have agate geode. So geode, as you know, is one that you open up. <laughs> wow. And yes, you do. Look at that. It has a nice, like, uh, neutral color crystals inside. And it's polished here also. This is a nice little one to display on a stand or something. But... It's beautiful. You know, when you find, we always think, how do we find geodes, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's one thing I want to learn about is how do we find them in nature? And when you look at a stone like this, you can't possibly think that inside. Yeah, if you cut that in half. Mm -hmm, it would be a <laughs> gift like that, right? Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Right, this one is called K. Sarah Stone Tower. Mm. Wow. Oh, Katie loves the towers. I don't, I never heard of this one before, so I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. <laughs> well, we do need to learn about that, but at least we can show them what is in this package. I don't know where to get that. I think open this anyway. Right? Yep. 
Now this rock is called Ulexite, Ulexite rock, TV rock. And what you do with this one, you can hold it over written text and it enlarges it for you. So let's take a look. Okay. It's, it's very odd. <laughs> it's polished, but yet it's cloudy and a little uh, textured, right? Yeah. Now, if we want to hold it over, lay it over itself. Yeah, but you have to go at the, the right angle. Okay. Let's see if we can see through it without... Oh yeah, you can see through it. I'm going to try to show Mike up close. Maybe you can see into it too. And then see how cloudy it is. Some of these are more clear, but if you hold it over top, can you see that the word's enlarged? It's hard to focus. Mm -hmm. I think I think you probably would see through it. Uh, maybe different different lighting. But we've had a piece of this before where we actually could see the words pretty clear through it. But that's the object, that's the idea of it. Okay. Now Katie's opening the last okay, one. So this one is Marcusite? Yes. This one says rare. Wow. Is that? It's pretty. Yep, it's gold and green, right? Do you see green in that? Mm hmm. It looks like the fool's gold, but yet it has the green tint to it. It's really neat. I guess I would say it's rare. It looks rare. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in, our, in our collection, it's rare, right? <laughs> <laughs> we are building the collection by using these subscription boxes because it gets stones into our crystal collection that we've never seen before or we wouldn't even find in rock shops that are nearby us, right? Yeah, and we get to learn about them. Yes. All it's, right, so in each of these boxes they give you uh, a free bonus mini crystals. So this one has three crystals in it, matchstick quartz, hematoid quartz, and amethyst. Mm. So usually these are, we get tumbles for these, but That's these matchstick quartz. I don't know if I can. Why don't you put them out here? The matchsticks. I guess this is probably hematoid. You can see uh, they're really they're like small double-ended points, <laughs> right? Yeah. I think a lot of times people use these when they're working with their grids. Yeah, when you don't have a lot of extra room, but you want to add more stones to your grid. And there's your amethyst. Amethyst and then hematoid. Okay. This one's kind of, at least got some red in it. Yeah, a little bit orangey looking. All right, there's a nice collection. Well, I'll ask you the famous question. Would you continue this subscription box? Yeah. We're still getting things we've never heard of before, so... Yes, it's a good one to keep uh, growing our collection. Mm -hmm. And it's continuing to teach us. We're going to definitely come back and tell you about this one after we learn <laughs> about it. I'm so curious about it right now. And how can we have a tower that we haven't investigated yet either? So we got a lot to talk about. We'll be back to talk to you about these in a future video. Yeah, so if you're interested in this box, the link is in the description. 
Uh, you can check it out. If you have any questions, let us know. Mike, thanks for helping us out with our video today. We appreciate it. Hey, he helps us really get some close-up shots that we wouldn't normally get to give you <laughs> while we're talking. But I also wanted to tell you on our channel, we're starting to develop some other parts of it. And we started a fairy garden playlist last night. So check that out if you're interested in that. <laughs> and it might be something you like. It also includes crystals. Yeah, you got to put those crystals in the fairy gardens. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.